What happens if Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi become managers in FC25? We're gonna start with Ronaldo guys. He is currently at Arsenal and the reason for that is because we want to make sure that these two guys are gonna be coaching the same team. That is how we're gonna be able to compare these two and find out who's actually the best coach. We've got some very nice options in here. I see a few clubs from League One, you know, the Spanish League, the Championship. But uh, I'm seeing one Premier League team guys and that is Ipswich. I basically want to see, guys, what both of them can do with this team, who obviously might be one of the teams who is expected to maybe get relegated. Looks like a good choice to me, and I think it might be exactly what we need, said Ipswich Town fans about club's new manager, Cristiano Ronaldo. I mean, who would have expected this to happen? Looks like a good choice to me, and I think it might be exactly what we need, said Ipswich Town's fan about new club manager. So, yet again, we're just seeing how lazy EA have been with his social media tab. Literally, the same messages. They both have the same features and they have a really difficult start coming up in the Premier League. So right now, we're gonna basically skip until the end of the first month and we're gonna see who's come out with the best results. It's not been a great start for Cristiano Ronaldo because he's lost every single game in his first month. I mean, he's even out of the Carabao Cup, so this is the worst possible beginning to his journey as a manager. Lionel Messi's first month has gone down a little bit better just because he was able to get into the next round of the cup. But, you know, Bolton might be an easier opponent as well. As we can see in the league, he actually almost managed to get a draw against Liverpool and City. So maybe this is an early sign that Messi could be the better coach. The first 10 matches has been played for Cristiano Ronaldo and as you can see he has managed to get two victories for Ipswich and also eight losses. Currently sat on six points in total but it's only just a couple more points and he will be out of the relegation zone. Let's take a look at Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi has got the exact same points as Ronaldo after the first 10 matches which is quite interesting. So as we can see two victories, eight losses, six points and he is currently 19th. Something that's kind of interesting though is that he literally lost every single game up until the last two games. So as you can see there, 2-1 victory against Leicester and also a 4-1 victory against Brentford. So Messi might be onto a win streak or maybe he's turned things around. Cristiano Ronaldo is halfway through the season with Ipswich and as we can see, he's got 3 wins, 3 draws and 13 losses. Currently sat on 12 points. So he is finding himself in a relegation battle right now. The objective is obviously going to be to try to, you know, make it out of this uh, zone. Anyway, guys, obviously, he has lost a lot of matches. There's no question about that. But the funniest thing ever, the one game that he did win, take a look at this, was against Manchester United. I mean, every single other game, he's basically lost or managed to get a draw. He also got a draw against Spurs. So we did have a pretty good November. It's not looking the best for Lionel Messi after the first 19 matches because he's got two victories, one draw, and 16 losses, and minus 22 in a goal difference. After the first 19 matches, Cristiano Ronaldo had 12 points, almost double than seven. So yes, I mean, right now it's looking like Messi could end up getting sacked. But I guess we will find out how it does come the end of the season. Are you joking me? Literally on the final day, guys. Ronaldo literally managed to get a couple of victories at the very end. Right there before he got sacked. But um, yeah, I, I, I guess a, a sack means that he probably did get relegated. Messi has managed to pick up a draw against the Bournemouth. But it's not looking great. As it stands, April 5th, the manager rating is very, very low. So he might actually get sacked before Ronaldo. Remember, Ronaldo actually made it to the 26th of May. Basically, the final day of the season. But Messi has just managed to get a 3-3 away draw to Chelsea. That is not a bad result. But he's got Arsenal up next. And even though he manages to score two goals, yeah, Arsenal scored four. And they are too difficult for him. So uh, right now, the manager rating is even worse. We are approaching May. It's another loss, guys, to Newcastle United. Is Messi going to be able to get sacked before? And there we go. Literally about a month before Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi gets the sack. And I was looking at the results and he was not able 
to get more points than Cristiano Ronaldo. I felt that we had to try this again, but using a team that is going to be doing a little bit better in that league. For example, Augsburg here in the Bundesliga are probably not going to be relegation contenders. So right now we're going to be starting off with Cristiano Ronaldo and see how he did in that season. As we can see, he managed to get 15 spots. He got relegation playoffs, so he might actually get relegated. Those matches have not, have not been finished, but 35 points in total. And yeah, 15 spot in the table. But when it comes to the cup, look at this. Cristiano Ronaldo was able to get Augsburg to a semi-final of the German Cup. I mean, he only got knocked out against Bayern 2-1, so... Uh, that is absolutely fantastic. Maybe Ronaldo is better as a cup coach. Anyway, let's have a look at Messi results. So he managed to get Augsburg a couple of more places up than Ronaldo. Instead of 15th, he got 13 spots and he got 45 points. So he managed to get 10 more points than Ronaldo and obviously not in a relegation playoff. But when it comes to the cup, as we can see, Messi only managed to get to the third round and he got knocked out against Stuttgart. So Ronaldo was able to get literally to the semis, which is two rounds more than this, which is pretty impressive. So overall, I would probably give this round to, you know, maybe Cristiano Ronaldo because of that cup run. But you never know, he could also get relegated. So it might be equal, guys. Let's see if this is the one that's going to decide who is the best coach. So Getafe with Cristiano Ronaldo. 38 matches played and 60 points. That is pretty impressive. 60 points. And he got top 8. That is good with Getafe in my opinion. Let's take a look at the cup competitions. And as we can see, Ronaldo reached the round of 16. So a little bit worse than what he did, of course, with Augsburg in the cup. But obviously the teams in Spain are probably a little bit more challenging. Obviously, Girona is a good team. So he lost a 2-1 there. But a pretty good season for Cristiano Ronaldo. Let's take a look at the same results, of course, with Lionel Messi at the same club. So he also managed to get top 8, which is uh, really, really weird. Um, but as we can see, Messi managed to get 52 points, Ronaldo 60. So Ronaldo had a little bit of a better season in the Liga table. As we can see, if Ronaldo got 60 points this season, he would have actually been top 6. In the cup, though, Messi was able to reach one round more. He got uh, knocked out to Girona 3-0, though. Ronaldo was knocked out 2-1. So uh, overall, guys, I mean, they're pretty equal. But I think I might have to actually give it to Ronaldo. So guys, right now, I want to hear your opinions. If you think these two guys will become coaches in real life, who would actually be the best one? Let me know in the comment section down below. I would absolutely love to see these goats going into management after their career. So we can keep watching these guys with something that has to do with football. So uh, yeah, it would be really interesting. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.